welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you one of the simplest things, but one of the most awesome things that you can do on the gamer. I'm going to show you how to uh, draw images and show them on the screen. Uh, I'm also going to show you how to do some simple animations. So we're going to draw some frames and then change them one after the other. And we're going to create a little animation that kind of loops back and forth. The first thing we want to do, actually, is we want to bring in the gamers library. So we've um, done quite a lot of the hard work for you and instead of you actually speaking to the chips of the gamer, the things that actually turn the LEDs on and off on the display, um, we've written some code so that you can kind of interface with the gamer um, in a much easier way. So if you're a beginner this is going to be way easier than it would have been if you would have to have started from scratch. We need to include the gamer library and the library is kind of like a, ba a code base. It's kind of like a box full of code that you bring in to your program. And you basically have to say, I want to use this piece of code. Um, the way you do that in Arduino is really simple. You just say hash include. Uh, and then you say gamer.h. And what this is going to do is it's going to bring uh, the gamer library inside your sketch and it's actually going to take the bits that it needs. Um, the next thing we want to do, uh, as with every single sketch that you do in Arduino, you need uh, a setup, so void setup, open up a curly bracket, close the curly bracket, and we also need a loop, void loop. The next thing I want to do, when you bring in a library to use, you kind of have to create like a copy of it. You have to create an instance. What is called that's kind of what it's called in programming. And an instance of a library is basically a local copy of the library in your code. Um, so the way you do that is you say gamer, and basically we're kind of creating an object of type gamer. That's the library, and then we have to name it. Um, you can name you can name it in whatever you want. You can name it uh, my gamer. You can name it. Uh, gamer, you can name it Squirrel, you can name it whatever you want. But um, Gamer is probably the easiest one. So just lowercase Gamer. So you say Gamer, Gamer. Um, so now we have, uh, now we can start using the class. The next thing you want to do in the setup is um, there's this function in the Gamer library which is called Begin. And what that, that function does is it kind of sets up all of the pins on the Arduino to be inputs and outputs. It uh, makes sure that everything is right before you, before your program starts. The way you do that is you say gamer.begin, open bracket, close bracket, because it's a function. Let's just test that our code works. So let's just test that we have correctly brought in the library and everything is working. The easiest way to test that is let's just try and turn on this uh, LED, the square LED. The way you do that in the library, we can do it even. We can even do it in the setup. So let's just say gamer dot set LED, and then you say high or low. High is on, low is off. And now, if I correctly upload this code, let's see if it compiles first. So we verify it. Yep, yeah, it's compiled. Now that you know that your uh, LED is on. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create an image and burn it onto the screen. What we're going to do is we're going to store our image into a byte array. The way we declare that in the code is we say um, byte and then I can, I can, I can name my, my image whatever I want. So I'm going to call mine alien and then I put these funny square brackets. So I open up a square bracket and then I close a square bracket. Um, and let's see equals so basically I say my alien is then here what I can do is I can write a whole binary number which means that I can write the whole row in one so if I put if I say B and then put eight zeros so one two three four five six seven eight and give it a comma and then copy that seven more times so one two three four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight rows now. And at the end I throw away the comma and then I just close the curly bracket and give it a semicolon. So let's say 
I try to just turn on that pixel over there. So if I put one of the uh, bits as one, and then in my setup, I say gamer uh, gamer dot print image, and I feed in my alien. So alien. Let's see if that works. At the moment, it's not really an alien, right? It's just a pixel. But we just want to test that it works. So yeah, it works. I'm just going to try and have a, an attempt at making an alien. Um, so I literally have to change these ones and zeros and kind of imagine that the ones are kind of the lines that I'm trying to draw. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make another image and kind of change it every once in a while. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to copy our alien array, well, my alien array, it's not yours, and I am going to call it alien2, maybe I'll call the first one alien1, one. so I'm going to rename the first one alien1, next one alien2, and then I might have another one called alien3, something like that, maybe, maybe 3 will do, yeah. So basically that's my three frames for my animation. So I'm going to have my alien, then it's going to jump a little bit, and then it's going to jump even more, and then it's going to go back down. I don't actually need six frames, so if you imagine you have one where the alien is sitting like this, one where it's in midair, and one where it's jumping, we don't have to have the other ones that go down as well, because we can reuse the two arrays that we, we've created. You notice, you'll notice how... Um, when, I, when we started this, this uh, tutorial, we were putting the, the print image into the setup. Now, what we want to do is we want to change it and we want it to loop. So now we have to put it in the loop function of Arduino. Because if we put it in the setup, it will only run in the beginning and it won't change ever again. Unless you take the power off of the Arduino and plug it back in. So, I'm going to take this out of the setup. And then in my loop, I'm going to say gamer dot print image I'm gonna print alien one first then I'm gonna say uh, then I'm gonna put a delay so delay uh, and I'm gonna wait for maybe half a second 500 remember delays are always in milliseconds so if I want half a second I have to say 500 if I want a second I'll say 1000 um, then I'm gonna say gamer dot print image alien 2 then wait a bit again delay 500 then gamer dot print image alien 3 then wait a bit delay 500 and now I'm going to do this in reverse. So I'm going to just copy these three because I'm a bit lazy. And then change those to um, three, two, one. So it's going to play frame one, frame two, frame three. Then frame three again because I want my character to kind of stay uh, afloat for a bit. And then frame two and then frame one. And it's going to go back to the beginning. So let's see what that looks like. So I'm going to upload it and see what happens. There we go. You can play around with animations really easily. Basically, all you have to do is just make the, those images, make every single frame, just like you would in traditional animation, and then put them one after the other. Make sure you watch the next video where we're going to show you how to change the animations depending on button presses or depending on the value of the LDR or things like that. Thanks for watching.